Now, what do we need? Well, we have a very specific idea for a small mission here on the planet. So we're going to get some of these plane parts. Boom. Uh, we need a few other things here and there, but what what should we get right now? We should probably get landing gear for that airplane that I want to make at the moment. Yeah, we don't need any of the rest of that yet. Uh, we may have enough science to get it. Yeah, we'll definitely have enough science to get it. Okay, so what's going on now that the Kerbals have been able to send something to the moon? Have it explore some of the scientific data, you know, with the ooze and all that, uh, that they brought with them. Well, the, the Synethians have a major win, you know, the, yeah, I would say the Naturians are probably getting ready to riot because th they've done something, the Synethians have done something that they probably shouldn't have, which is provoke, you know, whatever entity they feel like this, the Synethians are going after which could lead to the destruction of their people. But, again, the Naturians don't believe in that entity, but they're just saying, like, hey, is it such a good idea to be messing with this kind of stuff? So the Synethians have decided to take take a step back. They're not going to send someone to the moon right away. they gotta, they got to do some fire preventing here on the planet itself by putting out some of the social fires that are going on. So, instead, they've decided to make not a secret mission but a mission that is being dubbed as something else they're creating planes right they're they're testing aircraft to start ferrying people across the planet but in reality what the people at this project destiny are doing uh, in secret is they're testing aircraft so they can make space planes they want to be able to send shuttles up into orbit to get more kerbals up there and to be able to deploy satellites more effectively rather than having to spend a ton of money on rockets and do it that way so that is what we're going to work on here so this is the basic structure these are fuel tanks and then we have uh, so we have two fuel tanks a jet engine and then some scientific stuff in the middle just because you know if we come across something on the planet that we want to test this out on then we'll, we'll try it these wings are probably a bit excessive so we're going to do Maybe something of not so crazy as far as size is concerned. Uh, those aren't good enough, I don't feel. These are... Maybe maybe we will just need to go with these wings. It'll be a bit heavy. What if we did these? So, do two of these, like so. And we want to... Nope. Nope. There we go. We want to raise them up just a bit. So they kind of got that thing going for them. Now, what we want to do, and this is important, you want to make sure that your whoops, your center of lift and your center of mass are, well, that they're centered. So we want to keep our wings kind of in the middle like that. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, place winglets on the front, like so. And then we'll do some on the back. Actually, maybe we should put these on the back. Let's try that. See, that'll balance that out a lot better. Um, potentially... Moving those around. Now, I need control surfaces on the back. Uh, specifically to control our yaw. So we'll do one of those. And we need to have some control surfaces on our wings here. Also, these wings are quite interesting. But I don't want those. So let's get some of these going. Uh, let's turn that off so it kind of lines up correctly. I mean, kind of... We're going to have to do a little bit of adjusting here to get these to look right. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Control surfaces. Our center of lift is a bit back. So we could take this. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to grab. I wanted to grab the wings. And duplicate it like that. Oops. There we go. Just forward a bit. Because we are going to be burning fuel in that center of mass and center of lift will change. So I want to put a few air intakes for our engine. And that's looking quite good. So let's get some some gear so we can actually land and take off, right? So that would that would make a lot of sense. Those should function properly. I mean, I guess we'll kind of see. I want to put a little bit of solar panels um, on the thing because we may need additional power. So we're just gonna do a little bit of that. 
Those shouldn't fly off. Shouldn't. Being, you know, famous last words. Uh, let's put a, a battery there. Let's put the batteries right behind the air intakes. And we don't need any life support because the pod will come with a bit of it. Do we want any lights? Possibly. Let's do some green lights here. So we know that's the front, right? So we can kind of see how that's going to look as we land. And then let's do some red lights in the back. So right there behind the engine or underneath the engine rather. That looks pretty good. I think this will fly and I think it will, I think it'll do what we need it to do, right? Let's just double check that I don't need anything else. Maybe I should put a couple of these on. Just maybe. Like right there. Let's um, actually center them on that thing though. That'll look a lot better. There we go. Anything else? Maybe a radio just in case. I mean, our pilot needs to be able to communicate, right? So we want to do that. That should be good. Don't need any hard drives. We have batteries. You know, we could put all of this stuff in one of the circular storage containers that I have, but I don't feel like I need to put that much time into this first prototype plane. So this shall be quite interesting. Let's save it as the, uh, the PT, the prototype. Uh aircraft nothing too crazy for this name it's just gonna be a prototype aircraft and that's to keep the suspicions down if they were naming it that means oh they're planning on doing missions with this but because this is technically under the civilian sector they want to make sure that uh nothing nothing too crazy is getting out there so the civilians go oh they're just testing an aircraft right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quick save and then we're just gonna speed up time a bit we probably should put our brakes on so we're gonna speed up time simply so we can uh, do this during the day. Perfect. Love it. Beautiful. All right. That should be more than enough air intakes for this. So let's uh, hit that and quick save again. We're going to turn on SAS. We're going to turn our throttle all the way up. And we're going to go. This should function. Should. I don't want to start lifting off right away either. Who knows how much lift this thing actually has. Seems quite stable. Whoop. But are we getting enough lift to actually fly? That is the question. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, we did it! Whew. That was that was a close one for, for Jebediah there. Let's put the gears up. Now it's at this point that uh, Jebediah is giving the guys back at the space center some information on this plane, like the fact that it doesn't really slow down much. He's killed the engine, and yet it's still gliding quite well um, at a pretty persistent pace here. It's going to make it very difficult to land, but he's also letting them know all of this data because, honestly, uh, the fact of the matter is he's not going to be flying the next mission for this. He's got to prepare in a simulator to get ready to land on the moon. Uh, obviously, this is all over secure transmission. Nobody else is listening to this except the people at the Space Center, so the Naturians have no idea what's going on with this spacecraft. They just see that the Synethians are actually testing aircraft, and it seems to be functioning quite properly, at least according to what they can tell on you know, watching it happen. But for the most part, this thing is having an issue actually slowing down, and they see that runway is well it's it's running out so we need to put it down whoa don't hit that don't hit that don't hit that oh my gosh jebediah you are a boss as far as flying is concerned we just need to slow down a little bit just tap the brakes tap the brakes tap them brakes okay brakes there we go there we go now we're slowing down Whew. that was oh okay he's fine He's fine. He's good. Well, that could have ended a lot more <laughs> dastardly and with, uh, with a lot more of an explosion. Let's recover the vessel. Jebediah is fine. The information has been transmitted back of how to fly this thing, so it's going to be put into the, uh, the simulator data for the next one. 
Obviously, the space guys need to clean up the rest of the debris just in case this ever becomes an issue. So we want to recover that. Because if, if we need to land like that again, we don't want to be running into our own debris, right? That just makes sense. So we're going to clean up all of this. We're also going to go back and try this design a bit differently. With all the data that we've recovered there, uh, you know, of how, how the aircraft is going to work. We're going to load that one back up. And hopefully adjusted enough that it is actually going to fly properly. Maybe they think that they should do different engines because that engine, while good, it just necessarily wasn't what they were looking for. So we need to come up with a slightly different design. And the way to do that is to obviously make a different design. Now this time they've gone with a bit more of a different design. The, the gear probably could be in a better spot, like potentially like up on the wings here. Um, or further back even like right there actually that's way better but the problem is obviously the way that it sits because this is a raised tail so possibly maybe what we need to do is actually do this oh by the way we're running parachutes this time as a as a precaution they've learned their lesson you know it's it's one of those they potentially could have saved a bit of money there by not having the issues they did with with landing so this is one of those we probably should use better parts, right? So what they're going to do is they're going to put these control surfaces on like so and then also do the parachutes back here, which that sits kind of funny. So we'll adjust it like so. There we go. Now we have parachutes in the back. And then what we want to do is we want to get the gear, the more heavy duty landing gear this time than the last time because the last time it didn't really feel like they were going to do a good job of slowing us down um so we're going to go with this design a bit more also could adjust this out again to be kind of like that there you go they're flatter they should be better designed now let's look at our center of mass to center of lift our lift is a little high so what we can do is we should add wings in the back i'm thinking potentially these Little stabilizers in the back. How much? Oh, that moves that way back. So potentially uh, moving them there and then moving the parachutes. Let's take the parachutes off. Let's take the winglets. Let's put these on. Like right there. Again, our center of lift is pretty far back. So let's try a different winglet then. It's going to be kind of difficult. It's going to be hard to move these wings up. So what we could try is actually just putting the um, the control surfaces on. We'll see if that affects our lift rating at all. There we go. That's a lot more balanced. Got our parachutes in the back, got parachutes in the front, just in case. This thing is looking glorious as far as experimental planes are concerned. So we're going to call this PT Aircraft Mark II. And now we're going to save it. And now I think it's time to go try and fly it. Thank you.